everyone it is father's day and i think i figured out that it's june the 17th and not the 16th if you watched our first video earlier today i, I was misled that it was the 16th <laughs> but it was really the 17th so we're gonna jump right back into part five this is part five of our tennis talk podcast grass court season both women's and men's side leading into wimbledon and we hope to uh, to keep pushing it forward into the hard, this is the hard court season and so forth. But I want to do a quick daily recap of my own. It's Father's Day. Yes. So because it's Father's <laughs> Day, I deserve a recap of my past 36 hours. You had an eventful one. Mm -hmm. So because it's 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 we're doing women's tennis as as we push forward, but because it's Father's Day. Uh, my past 36 hours has been interesting, to say the least. So, with the help of my wonderful wife here, Miss Carla, uh, we had to measure the height of a refrigerator, uh, or the clearance thereof, so we can get a new refrigerator because the other one went out. So, she had a tape measure that was metal, the type that you kind of fork out and you, you hope that you don't touch the sides of it while it's coming back in because it might slice your finger off <clears throat> so she was measuring <laughs> she decided to measure the height of the refrigerator but instead of measuring where the cabinet was she was trying to measure the refrigerator height mm -hmm. so real quickly I was trying to move the tape measure from height of cabinet to height of refrigerator and so forth she snapped it back and annihilated my finger so let's say my first 36 hours previous to this very minute <laughs> was finger demolition by tape measure, a metal one. So I appreciate that. I'm so sorry. I really appreciate I really that. Am. It was on my left finger, so I don't have to worry about my toss uh, or my racket hand because I, I kind of let my toss float off my middle finger, so we're okay with that one. So we're going to fast forward. Hey, but you won today, so... Yeah, that obviously didn't affect you. So this comes to my number two. So it went from a major low to somewhat of a high because this morning, uh, Carl and I play sets quite often, and, and, and the past, say, what, four sets? I've gotten annihilated by her, and, and, and I win my share, but the past four was really kind of rough. But I, I got a win today, and that was a 6-2. Thank you very much. So I really enjoyed that. So moving forward into today, Father's Day, I'm on the court, uh, Carla is, is teaching the girls, uh, I elect, as I always do, to teach the boys, they're older, they hit harder, they, they're easier to get, you know, feisty with and so forth, so we had taken the day to sweep the courts off and, and get them clean so the kids could run and move without worry of slipping or falling, so we got the courts cleaned and I took the boys and I was feeding them. And Christopher hit his first backhand of the day. Well, actually, I think it was the second. Second backhand. Second backhand. Second one. We were still warming up, but he was ripping backhand. And I made it a point. I said, man, when we come out here today, you better hit hard. You better hit hard. I was like, I'm tired of coming out here. And my boys are just hardly working. I just want you to hit hard. Don't care where it goes. Net, out, in, doesn't matter. Just hit the ball. Right? Right. Okay, first backhand, great. No problem. Second backhand. Nose bust. Face bust. <laughs> glasses broke. Got super glue. <laughs> so, what happened was, I under I was underhand tossing, warming them up. Just, here you go, hit that, hit that. And Carla was teaching the girls on the other court. And I'm trying to watch Lily, like, hit. And I'm trying to watch Carla feed. And I'm trying to watch Jonathan not yell at his brother, and then I'm trying to watch Chris hit the backhand. And all of a sudden, here comes a crank. Bow! One-hander. And here comes the ball. Glasses were on. Here. Boom! Knocked it off. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> wow. Broke everything. Super glue. Right here. So, my past 36 hours on Thursday. I love it, though. You'll never forget it. Never forget it. So, diced meat finger, 
facial fracture, <laughs> and a set went over her. So I spent no money, none. Face fracture, meat <laughs> finger, and victory. All right, we're good. All right, so we're bouncing right back into women and into women's tennis. So here we go. And all seriousness aside, uh, or all jokes aside, uh, seriousness uh, regains strength here. So. Thank you very much uh, for watching. Happy Father's Day. And we're going to get right back into women's tennis. Tennis, I'm going to check the camera. All right. So today, babe, jumping right back in. She was looking at my notes, and she thought I was talking about jumping jacks. But I wasn't talking about jumping jacks. I was going to be kind of uh, comical for the first few minutes with my broke nose and my... A whole chafed eyeball and my meat finger. You know what I'm saying? But and I'll do seriousness. Hey, here we go. All right, so jumping back in. Today the women's finals were at two tournaments. Right. We had the Libema. I, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, or or Libema Open where a young girl, and she was the number seven seed, and, and I haven't heard of her. She's a Russian-born Serbian tennis player, and her name, or her last name is Krunic, K-R-U-N-I-C. She, she took out a longtime player, uh, Flipkins, who has been on tour for a very long time. I, I want to say she's in her 30s. Oh, she's in, yeah, she's definitely in her mid-30s, I think. She's been out for a while. Yeah, and, and, and her thirties, and that's absolutely commendable. Uh, uh, she won in three sets: six, seven, seven, five, six, one. Is there, for me, any excitement about this tournament less than there's a thirty-two-year-old, I think, uh, young lady that is, is trying to, to to gain some type of traction moving forward in the Wimbledon? Is it, is it a really exciting win for me, for her, for Flipkins? No, but I mean, it's it's a great to still see her out there. I mean, she's cho she's trying to make a living, I guess. I'm not sure. She did retire for a bit and then came back to tennis. Good I'm not sure if you remember that several years ago. She had retired for quite a few years because of injuries and then came back at the U.S. Open. I think it was two or three years ago and she made it all the way to the quarters. It was like a big deal. Great history. Great history there. Didn't know that. Great history. So the the, the young lady Krunic from from Serbia, uh, she was a number seven seed coming into a tournament. Uh, I hope the best for her. I don't know much about her. I, I do hope that we see her uh, again. And and it's again really tough. If you watched our previous videos, it's tough to keep up with the influx of women's tennis players in and out uh, because of the Serena's and the Sharapovas and and everyone else's. It's it's, it's really it's really tough to 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 have another Serena or Sharapova or, or any of the girls. It, it, they but they bounce on and out so much. But so, you gotta give it to Russia. I mean, they have so many players. It's crazy the talent that comes out of there. I Seriously, agree. there's a lot of Russian players. I mean, we don't know their names, but there's a lot of young talent coming out of there. I wish there were more Americans coming out. I I, I agree as well. So speaking of American players, in this tournament, and this was the Libama Open. Uh, and, th and this was in the Netherlands, I think? Yes. We had some semi-final American, or at least one semi-final American notable. We had Coco Vandeweghe. So Coco Vandeweghe lost to this girl, Krunic, in a three-set match. Vandeweghe won the first set, 6-2. Mm -hmm. She lost the second set, 7-6, and lost the third set, 7-6. Well, she won this tournament last year. Who? Coco Vandeweghe. She did? She did. Really? I actually, yeah. I looked up the information. She won it last year, so not bad. I mean, consistent. Semi-final, right? That's impressive, actually. Yeah. Didn't know that. Yes. Good work right there. <laughs> Didn't know that. Okay, so I'm going to take a step back. I was really fixing to... You said Coco was the same? She won it last year, yes. So I'm going to apologize forthright to a potential battering of, of Vandeweghe. I love you. I, I, you're an American player. I wish the best, but I was really fixing to kind of just say, what the heck? Happened she here. was trying to defend her title, but uh, she came short. Vandeweghe, you're a good player. You're a really good player. But stop all the pouting and all the antics and all the looking up at the... Just stop. Just play the game. 
Just focus. Be more humble. Come on, man. <laughs> Krunich? Oh, look, I'm not saying she's not going to be the future number one in the world, but jeez. Come on. Anyway, good match for Krunich. I'm glad you won. You won the tournament. You came back. Uh, from from really a hole in the ground and won it. Good job for Krunich. I hope to see more of you. But Vandaway, come on. Anyway, all right. So uh, we had in the semifinals before that though, Flipkins, who made the final, played a young lady by the name of Kuzmova. I'm guessing another Russian player. Probably <laughs> Serbian, Croatian. Either way. Yeah, yeah. But can't we finally get? An American tennis. Can, can, can we finally get an American tennis? That it's not about how many coaches you have. It's not about how many physios you have. It's not about however many sports psychologists you have. I understand I'm a psychology major and graduated with a degree in it. And no, I'm no brainiac. Humbly stating. Fight, fight, fight. How many Serbian players, by the way, when we were growing up, were hitting balls against the deep end of a bombed out swimming pool while there was bombs dropping in Kosovo. Multiple? We've, yeah, we've got Jankovic, Anovic, and Jokovic. And they were all top players. Anov uh, Anovic won one Grand Slam, the French Open, and then you got Jokovic, 12 Grand Slams. And Jankovic got to top 10. I mean, I don't. The, the problem here is that these players from foreign countries are hungry. They, they know they have to make it, whereas the American players, unfortunately, here in the United States is who has the money and who can train, who can pay the most, you know? Over there, uh, they're looking for raw talent and they're willing to fork out as much money as they can for a player that comes from nothing. That's the difference. Completely, absolutely agree. The wind's picking up. I hope you can still hear us, so we'll talk a little bit louder. But the only reason why I bring up the flipkins Kuzmova match is, 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 is if you follow tennis, we've all heard of Flipkins, and she's been around for a while. Kuzmova... I haven't heard of her, and maybe it's a, a lack of my own studies for her. But all, all I'm getting at is we have Coco Vandeweghe, who is in the top tier of American tennis, and loses to someone that I've never heard of, and I live in, in the United States. No disrespect to anybody. But when you have the USTA, of the sponsorships, the outfits, the, the, the fans, the money, and everything, and you lose like that? How does that even happen? Well, and she even has uh, Pat Cash as her coach. He's not American. He's Come on, Pat Cash. Where's Pat Cash from? He's, uh, I don't know, but you better cash him checks. Because where's he from? He, Australia? Yeah. I think he won well, a he's Wimbledon. A grand, no, I thought he won the U.S. Open. U.S. Open. Whatever. Fact of the matter is, Coco, come on, man. Think deeper than that. Just let down. Let down. Anyway. Come on, Coco. Stop pouting. Allison Briss. Uh, you got this girl Brady that trains at Lake Nona. Madison Key, stop pouting. Osaka, stop crying. <laughs> Just fight. Yes, exactly. Damn. But Osaka, Osaka is not American. She's ja actually representing Japan. Japanese, she trains it. Come on with all that. That's another story for another day. Fight. Fight. Just fight. <sighs> All right, moving forward. So, we had the women's, the women's Nottingham final today. Right. Another grass court tournament that I thought uh, had promise looking towards the future. So, we had an Australian girl. I think Barty isn't she? Barty's, Australian? Barty's been around. Took out Kanta, who's, who's a British girl. I didn't know that she won. Okay. Drop knowledge. I looked it up. Wow. I looked it up. Dropping knowledge. I All thought right. Kanta would. I, I, I really thought Kanta would win that. No, she no. Should've. Kanta dropped. I, I think she. I, I think she should have won it as well. Wow. Well, I know they went to three sets, but I didn't see. I didn't watch any of the match. So, here's how this one went. Bar T won six three three six six four. Couple breaks here and there. And I get that. But in women's tennis, it's 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 like break. You break. I break. We break. We all break. It's cool. It's cool, but I really think that Kanta should have won that match. Seedings are relevant at this point. Grass season coming home to Wimbledon. Uh, Kanta with the likes of Fred Perry, with the likes of Virginia Wade's, 
with the likes of Tim Henman, with the likes of Andy Murray, uh, gee whiz, come on, Conta. I mean, we're in grass court season, and I'm not saying Barty's a bad player. She's been around for a while. She's a good player. Right. On paper, Conta, you got to win that. you got to win that, okay? I don't care who wins on any other court surface at this point. Conta, you got to win that. you got to win that heading into Wimbledon. Am I wrong? She's a top, I mean, her ranking is higher, correct? Well, I think at the tournament, the Barty was one and Conta was seven, I think. Really? Oh. Okay. Uh, number one, Barty, uh, okay. she was number one. Barty was number but one. But Conta should have won, I mean, she's done a lot better at Wimbledon. Last year, she got to the semis, correct? I think so. She if... played against Venus? Yes. And Venus yes. won and made it to the final, and then I think Mogarusa won that. Uh, yeah, she should so have won. So Mogarusa won Wimbledon last year? She won Wimbledon last year. Impressive stuff here. Yes. Okay, so... We have Barty winning the Nottingham against Kanta. Uh, so we have an Australian that took out the, the British girl uh, on her home turf. Hopefully that changes moving forward. Uh, some semi-final notables from that tournament. Barty had beaten Osaka in the semi-final, 6-3, 6-4, to get there. Am I that impressed with Osaka now? I think Osaka was lucky to get far at the Indian Wells. I mean, she, her coach is Serena's former hitting partner. No, not impressed with his coaching, and I'm not impressed with her at all. She's very immature. I saw that video of her crying. She was winning the match, and she was in tears because she didn't want to be there. To me, that tells me that player is not mentally tough, not ready to grind it. No, I'm not impressed by her. So you're telling me that Serena's ex-hitting partner is now uh, Osaka's coach, who Correct. should probably spend... Sasha, I think his name is. And I'm should, not his, I'm not, I don't know his last name. And should spend maybe less time in the tanning bed? Correct. Less time in the tanning bed, bro. Less time in the tanning bed. It's not good for you, dude. It's really not. It, you might look good now, but you look like a baseball glove in about two or three months. Lay off the tanning bed, bro. Serena, go Serena. You made the right move. Okay, so Osaka, uh, I don't know much about her and not being negative, just trying to be fun about it. Definitely don't cry on the sidelines. If you cry against the Serena, if you cry against the Sharapova, if you cry against anybody, they're going to beat you. Yes. Don't cry against Halla. Heck, don't even get 73-year-old Hingis and put her on the court and play her in a game of singles and cry to her because she's going to beat you too. Save the crying for next time. Okay, no crying. Anyway. Well, you know the problem is that they have the coaching on the sidelines. You oh, know, the coaching break, timeouts. Well, they're not doing that in the Grand Slam. Thank God. But, hocus, uh, hocus, hocus. I'm getting my butt kicked. Who can help me, Coach? Can you come help me? And if you can't come help me, I'm gonna fire you. Ridiculous. Grow up. Fight. In the other semifinal in that tournament, we had Kanta who beat a young girl who I've seen her name now Seven two times. two or three times, maybe more in the past few weeks. Mm -hmm. Vekic? Yes. V-E-K-I-C. Okay. I think it's in all of our best interest to keep our eyes out for her. Yes, definitely. Haven't seen her, but I keep seeing her name. Same here. I keep seeing her name. Uh, for the clay season, I saw her name a lot, and now, well, grass. I, I couldn't tell you how she looks like, but I've heard her name a lot. So with that said, I think that we can all rest assured that we might want to keep our eyes open for this young girl, Vekic, Vesic, Vecic, V-E-K-I-C. Correct. Uh, it's a name now that's becoming repetitive, and I think it stands uh, to, to at least worth to, to, to keep your eyes open for. So... After these two tournaments have ended, I, I must say, at, for me, it's been a relatively slow week on the women's tour. I mean, we're sitting here and we're discussing the implications of, uh, of uh, a Vekic match, a Kantich match, a Barty match, uh, a Kanta match. Where are the big guns? I, 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 where's the Serenas? Where's the Sharapovas? Where's the, uh, the Kerbers? Where's the Venuses? Where's the Kavitovas? Where's the Muguruzas? Where's the Sharapovas? Good question. Well, I think we may have an answer for that. We have two tournaments next week on the women's side. So we have two tournaments that start actually 
Oi? Is Oi for today in Spanish? Yes, Oi. Oi. Multilingual, bilingual, nah, just unilingual, but learning. All right, so we have next week the Nature Valley Classic, which Nature Valley, I, I think there's been like two or three tournaments on the women's side that have been Nature Valley this year. Personally, I haven't heard of Nature Valley. I've heard of the tournaments in these respective places, but I've never heard of the quote-unquote Nature Valley. That's Ma actually a brand. Doesn't... Well, I know the granola bar. Yes, but, but I've they're never... sponsoring it. Well, it must be new because I've never heard of it before. Could be. Great. Good job. I like the granola bars. I'm just saying I've never heard of it termed as the Mallorca Nature Valley Open or the Nature Valley Classic and blah, blah, blah. Well, I don't know that the Mallorca is the Mallorca Open. I don't think they're sponsored by Nature Valley. That's, that one's in Spain. I think that's just Mallorca Open. Well, it, it, yeah, I think you're correct there. I think Mallorca Open is the Mallorca Open. I think the other tournament is Nature Valley Classic. Right. There's like three. One in Eastbourne, Nottingham, Birmingham. And another one, yeah. So it must be like the Rolex Masters where they picked it up and Correct. are going with it. A little gust of wind here, so sorry about the wind. All right, so we have next week the first tournament to bring up is the Nature Valley Classic. So here we go. Here come some of the big players. Okay. All right, we have Muguruza in action. We have Heather Watson in action. We have Pliskova in action, and, and, and the higher ranked Pliskova, as well as her sister, but I, I'm referencing, uh, I think it's Carolina Pliskova, the, the, the sister. There's Christina Pliskova and, and Carolina, Carolina yes. Pliskova, yes. So, in the first round match, though, there's a first round match in this tournament that, for me, is captivating. You may not even understand why I think it's captivating, but we have this girl, Osaka, who is flying a Japanese flag, but she's an American girl. And she is playing a British girl, Katie Bolter. I've seen this girl Bolter play. The time I saw her play, she lost. But I thought she was a good player. She looked good for me. So I think, by the way, Osaka's been playing. I think if Bolter steps on her grass court and ramping up to Wimbledon, I think that Bolter will beat Osaka and force Osaka to try to work harder. It's very possible. I have no idea who you're talking about. Uh, I don't Osaka's just too immature, so. Watch out for this match. This could be a fun one. Um, we have Barty again in this tournament that just beat Kanta in the final of Nottingham. I just mentioned it. Is Barty that good? It, was this just some random win for her? Or has she been plotting along to actually win one tournament and now win another? Who is she playing? Her first round match and with Barty? Ah, I don't have it listed. This is a great question. I don't know. Barty, who, who knows, I'm, right? not, I'm not sure about Barty at all. I, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I couldn't tell you if she could win the first round. I mean, these are small tournaments. Anybody could win. Women's tennis is so inconsistent. The one who won the last week's tournament could lose in the next first round. The one who came from, you know, preparing the last tournament before Grand Slam, most of the time loses in the first round of a Grand Slam. So I don't know. Agreed, totally. I really hope this girl, Barty, gets another win. Uh, the match today, Barty and Kanta, to me, looked rusty at best on Kanta's side. Uh, I, I don't think it was some great win for, for Barty today. I think she beat a subpar player, in my opinion, from what I saw. Uh, so if she is she really good? I, I think we'll find out maybe on this tournament. Great first round match. Drum roll. Drum roll. I don't get very excited about women's tennis unless there's Serena involved, but I know that tomorrow, first round match. I'm going to check the camera, make sure it's rolling for this one. I'm sure it's still rolling, Justin. First round match. Check it out. Check it out. Spoil alert for Wimbledon. Spoil alert. First round tomorrow. Kanta plays Kvitova back in action. Who do we have? Oh, I'm going with Kvitova on this one. Hands down. Uh, she's got way more weapons than Kant. Kant just came from a loss. Kvitova's uh, best surface and her only Grand Slam is Wimbledon. So, yeah, why wouldn't she win this first round? See, I knew that answer was coming. Yeah. Totally agree. For me, from what I saw from Kant today, if Kvitova took another year off or, or had another issue that she had to deal with, I think Kvitova would 
just absolutely go right through Conta's game. Really good to see Kvitova back. One of my favorite all time. Mm-hmm. One of my favorite all time. Carla and I met, what, eight years ago? Close. And we were Kvitova fans when we met after five kids later. Kvitova's a really good player. Uh, she reminds me, I don't know, she's probably going to kill me for saying this because her favorite player is Groff. Uh, not their game. But the way they approach the court, the, the, the court conduct, the way they talk on the court, the way they walk on the court, the way they conduct themselves as women on the court, very graphish for me. Obviously, the records aren't even close. So not trying to compare it to Graf's greatness. But Kvitova, to me, just reminds me when she walks on the court of, of a very graphish, if that makes any sense. Uh, she ends the points quickly like Graf did. I mean, Graf wasn't... Uh a defense player. She was aggressive. She wanted to finish a point in two, two, three points, just like Kvitova does. Um, I don't think they're very similar in their games, though. No. I mean, they're both aggressive. That's it. Agreed. All right, so a couple other players in this tournament that I think we should keep our eyes on, not necessarily to see if they're doing great, but for me, are we going to anticipate a fall from grace? Uh, we have Coco Vandeweghe playing again in this tournament. Do I have to say anything again about Coco Vandeweghe? Do you know when she's playing? I don't know. I think it's a qualifier or something. She'll be fine. She'll get through the first, the first few rounds. I don't... She's not going to... I mean, she likes the grass. Hasn't grass become like parkour? Close. Yeah, if not very much so, yeah. The, uh, grass suits anybody who's aggressive. Anybody who could finish a point quickly, that's who's going to win the match. Coco, you better win this match, man. All right. Enough said about Coco. Svitolina coming up next. So, wasn't she like four in the world or she's currently four. four in the world? Yes. Oh. She, she'll do well in this one as well. She's a big hitter. So, are we going to ever see Svitolina turn the corner and actually win something big? Not with Serena in the way. No. So, even Serena now. Or Pliskova. Pliskova is much stronger than her. So, if you have Pliskova, Serena, and you have Sharapova, then you put Svitolina. Does she have a chance to get any of the three? No. I hope you train more. Get ready, Svitolina. It's going to be a tough role for you. If you have Wozniacki, Rowanska, maybe Kerber, maybe she has a chance. Fair enough. All right. So, last but not least is the Mallorca Open. It's in Spain. It's a grass tournament, which I they didn't... Have, they have grass. <laughs> yeah, I didn't, I, I didn't wow. realize. I thought Mallorca was Nadal-owned in clay. Wow. But I think they have a few grass courts there. That's so impressive. Yeah, it's very impressive. Some big hitters there. Hmm. I'm going to list the big hitters. There's really not a big list of first-round matches. There was a couple first-round matches we just discussed for the previous tournament. There's some big players there. There's a field of 32, so the draw is not very big, just like, uh, obviously, the other tournament. Uh, we have the following. Caroline Garcia, we've talked about her. I think she's number six in the world, a French player. We have Contevi, who's a heavy hitter. She's been on the up and up. Uh, she's been doing really well. Okay. We have Schiavone coming in and playing. She's like 102. She's still playing. Good for her. <laughs> Does she have? Does Schiavone have a chance here? No. Grass is not good for her game. Not one bit. I, I, I think, though, I tip my hat to Schiavone because she won at French? Yeah. French Open champion. Uh, probably one of the, the elder women on tour that still comes out and fights. Good job for you, Schiavone. I'm very fit. Very fit. Veteran. Uh, thank you for your work, Schiavone. Really, thank you for that. Because if I could give my girls, which we have five kids, but two of them are girls out of the five, if I could instill any greatness in my in my two girls, it would be yours. And Serena's and Groff's and a lot of others. But you're up there. <laughs> All right. Azarenka comes out of the woodwork. Good, good for her. How does Azarenka do in this tournament? She does well. She might make the semis. Of this being like a 250 who's, who's event? the number one seed in this tournament? The number one seed in this tournament is... Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, I might be Garcia, babe. It might be Garcia. I have her name at the top. I might have to check my homework and update this later. Well, I, Azarenka would still be unseated in the Grand Slam. She doesn't yeah, I think points. Caroline Garcia from France is the number one seed in this tournament. Do you, is Sloan playing this? No, Stozier. Stozier's not. Kerber? Mm-hmm. Garcia would probably be the, num- the number one seed in this tournament. Yes. 
So, there is obviously a lot of women that we can talk about, and they're all very good players. My list of players that I think are worth mentioning in this tournament, just to start out the preliminary rounds, are Caroline, Caroline Garcia, Kontavi, Schiavone, Azarenka, Kuznetsova. Don't forget about Kuznetsova. Svetlana, she can play. Okay? She can play. She can play. Uh, Carla Suarez from Navarro, another Carla here. I have Sam Stozier in here. You might laugh about Sam Stozier, but I think she is a dark horse for Wimbledon. Be careful with Stozier. She won her Grand Slam, so what else can she ask for? There you go. Uh, Kerber is playing here. Kerber should win this tournament. There's no reason why Kerber should win this tournament. If Kerber does not win this tournament, simply I think she's trying to make sure she doesn't risk injury. Would you agree? Sure. Some players don't even like winning tournaments. They just want to warm up for you know, the next Grand Slam. So she could probably go out in the semis. I mean, we've seen a lot of players do this. Exactly. Exactly. Kerber should win it. If not, don't don't even worry about it if she doesn't win it because I, I really think uh, it will be preparation, uh, fine-tuning her strokes for, for, for Wimbledon. So at the end of the video, we still have no appearances from the following. And, and I, if I list them and I miss any of them, correct me if I'm wrong, please, in comments. Again, please subscribe below. Click a like below. We really enjoy doing these videos. Uh, but I don't have any homework on the following names. All right? Got them listed. You ready? Mm -hmm. Venus Williams. Any homework since since the French Open? I think Venus is tired. I haven't I mean, heard she much. She did a lot last year. I don't expect her to do much this year. Has she even played grass? She hasn't played one tournament yet. Haven't heard anything from her either. Serena, we hope Serena's well. We'll she, she's, not playing, she's not playing the, um, the Mallorca, no? No. I mean, Serena, she withdrew what, with a pectoral injury? Yeah, uh, yeah. So she might, I mean, she's the type of player that doesn't need to play these warm-up tournaments. I mean, she's like a Federer and a doll. They don't really, they're at their, uh, you know, at the point of their career, they don't really have to play these smaller tournaments. There's no reason to. Here we go down the list. Wozniacki. I think she is playing the Nature Valley, the fourth one I've heard. Nature Valley International next week. I looked ahead a couple of weeks. Uh, I think Wozniacki will get into action one week prior to the beginning of Wimbledon. Uh, but I haven't heard any mention from her. We'll see how she does against... I, I think she's going to be overpowered at Wimbledon, in my opinion. Definitely agree. All right. Uh, we have Radzwanska, who has made a, a Wimbledon final. Lost to Serena, if I remember correctly. Uh, she's yeah. she's gonna come in around number 20, 21, hasn't played at all. Do you, do you see her coming out of the first week one morning? No, she she's another one that got married just a few months ago. Good for her. So Good for I, her. no, I mean families. I mean she's at the end of her career as well. She's played for a long time and she's been in the top ten for a long time. So I don't blame her. If she's not playing these smaller tournaments. Agree with this too. Moving forward, Lizicki, one of my personal favorites. We have a win that we've been going for about 30 minutes. We have a win that's coming out of the south that's really pressuring us into in, in the front of our face. So we'll try to lean up and talk a little bit louder to finish this up. So Sabine Lizicki, how does she do? She, she, I haven't seen or heard from her. Can she come into Wimbledon to win? It's too bad. She had a chance to win. Uh, she lost against Kerber. That was her chance to win that Grand Slam. She lost in the semifinals several years ago. No. I don't think we'll see much of Lizicki. I like Lizicki a lot. Me too. I uh, like her game. I do. Um, Carla's built just like Lizicki, and, and I'm very fond of the way Carla's built. So, Lizicki, I really hope you come on back because you're really fun to watch. You're like a firecracker, and I really like to watch you play. Let's get back here. I, I, if I had to choose my final for Wimbledon, it would be Serena versus Lizicki. Uh, and if it wasn't Serena against uh, Lizicki, it would be Serena against Kvitova. Uh, obviously, I would rather see Serena and Lizicki because it would be a high-powered match. I would, I would really like to be a part of that match. Actually, throw Kerber in there. Again, we've had the same discussion about the Kerbers and the Lizickis and the Kvitovas. They can all whack the ball and they can all be offensive. Um, but unfortunately for, for all of those three, that Serena tends to, to be a little bit more intense. So hopefully uh, they all four show up. Uh, I haven't heard anything about Sloane Stevens here in the past couple of tournaments. The grass, anyway. I know she's she's doing her own thing. I won't uh, evolve into talking about her. We wish her well. 
with her new uh, boyfriend and everything else. Hopefully that doesn't distract you too much from this grass court season. Uh, Ostapenko, I haven't heard much from her. She bailed out what, early at the French. She lost first round at the French Open. Um, I mean, all honestly, I never heard of Ostapenko until she won the French Open last year. Oh, great. So what else has she done besides that? I don't know. So maybe that's how we should look at Ostapenko, kind of like, well, I don't want to eat. Ivanovich was more steady. I was going to make a reference. You know, a lot of people win the French, and, and you never hear from them again. I was going to say Ivanovich, she won the French, but she has been around a long time. Yeah, but her game went down. It's almost like a curse to win that one slam. Yeah, like the French <laughs> curse. So yeah. Anyway, Ostapenko, we hope to see a lot from you at Wimbledon, uh, but I'm not going to count my chickens on that one. Uh, two last players, and then we're going to wrap it up. Uh, I have Maria Sharapova. Is she gonna do well here? She won one. She beat Serena. We'll see. She wants to win a Grand Slam. Why not? She's a power player. Hard serve when she gets it in, and one, two, three. I I, I can't disagree because she's a great player. I she, I can't disagree with that. Uh, but because my number one is, is Serena, it's really hard for me to. To root for Sharapova, I think she's a great athlete, and she's probably gotten the unfair side of a lot of things, and we'll leave it at that. But I'm gonna I'm gonna pull for Serena here and Sharapova too. But maybe it's just my love for Serena that dwarfs my love for Sharapova. You're still a great player. I wish the best for you. Um, three dark horses that we've discussed before. One is well actually i don't know if we've ever discussed these three i'm just gonna pop them on her because she she gets angry when i mention these three pekovic the german at wimbledon she just not lost her first round uh at this nottingham 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 yeah she, she, no this tournament coming up nature valley tournament i don't know where it, where it's at it's yeah. the first tournament she just lost first round so i like pekovic i think she's i a think fighter. she's great too she's a fighter she's a veteran she's been around a long time I really hope she shows up for Wimbledon. You know what? I would really like to see Petkovic win Wimbledon. I don't think it'll happen, but I really hope Petkovic shows up. I followed you a long time, really enjoy your game, and I hope you just lay it down at Wimbledon. Uh, Aronxa Roos. I don't know if you guys have heard of Aronxa Roos. She's probably ranked probably around 100 in the world. Uh, I followed her for a while as a junior and into her pro career. She fell way off, but I still have hope for Aronxa Roos. She's had some tough losses here in the first rounds of these warm-up tournaments for Wimbledon. I still think she'll get a, an invite to Wimbledon, and if so, Roos, you can do this. R-U-S, Roos, watch out for Aronsa Roos. Lastly, Monica Puig. <laughs> Are you serious? Wow. Monica Puig, I think, is a great player. She's strong. She fits. She reminds uh, me of Carla. Boy, that's funny. She won an Olympic gold. Okay, big deal. In tennis? Who cares? Groff won Olympic gold. Who cares? How many tennis players really care about winning did, the Olympic gold? Did Serena win Olympic gold? She did. So we have Steffi Groff that won Olympic gold. Oh, who cares? We had Serena Williams that won Olympic gold. And Monica joke, Puig right? wins one. It's not a big deal? The Olympics for tennis players is not a big deal as gymnastics or um, what, what, swimming. It's the, They dedicate their lives for that. Come on, Grand Slams is where it's at. Are you kidding me? Go, Monica. I think you can do this. Matt, I think if we pull out uh, Celis or Sabatini out of retirement, they'll do better at Wimbledon than she will. I have faith in Monica <laughs> Puig. All right. So at, at, the, at the end of the day, that that concludes our women's tennis discussion. Uh, the two tournaments we discussed start tomorrow. The qualifying has gone through. I saw that Eugenie Bouchard had a chance to qualify and lost both of her qualifying matches. Bouchard. Stay off the photo shoots. If you want to play tennis, play tennis. But if you want to just be a swimsuit model, that's great too. But they even put the music for you in the background. Yeah, I just had like <laughs> music start from over behind me. And ending, Bouchard, stay away from the swimsuit calendar, model photo shoots if you want to play tennis. If you want to play tennis, great. If you want to do photo shoots, great. But choose one. Because you're causing yourself to be a laughing stock. Play the game or don't play the game. Make up your mind. Quali loss? The Mallorca Open or wherever? You went to a Wimbledon final. 
What are you doing? She's not Anna Kornikova, so I'm just saying. Anyways. Anyway, thanks for watching, everyone. Click a like below, subscribe below. We are both tennis players. We're not knocking on anyone, uh, but we like to fight hard on the tennis court. We like to work hard. We train our kids hard, and we love to do tennis news. And unfortunately, here, not too many people do it. So we want to do it. Stay tuned. We'll be back in two days for updates on both the men's season and the women's season leading up into Wimbledon. Take care, guys. See ya. It's great for that, but that's awful.